Hello, uh, this is a question number one from J Advanced 2020, paper one. Let's solve this. It reads a football of radius R is kept on a hole having radius smaller which is lesser than capital R and made on a plank kept horizontally. Then after one end of the plank, plank is now uh, lifted so that it gets tilted making an angle theta with the horizontal as shown in this figure. So initially this plank was horizontal so it was some sort of this and this uh, spear was football was placed over here. Now one end has been left like this so it started making an angle theta from the horizontal as shown in the figure. The maximum value of theta so that football does not start rolling down the plank satisfies which of the following condition. So we need to find the maximum value of theta so that it does not slide or, or starts rolling downside. Now here is the solution. If you want we can draw the free body diagram of the football. When you draw the free body diagram of the football you find there is going to be normalization from this contact point let us call it B, normalization at this contact point let us call it uh, A and there is going to be gravitational force at the center. These are going to be three forces acting. Now when theta keeps on increasing then you will find uh, N2 will become 0 before it starts sliding so this N2 will become 0. And if we consider the components of gravity, we can consider the gravity component or we can think of total force is going to be acting downwards. Now as long as this total force is uh, in this way, normalization is in this way, so resultant torque will be in this way that means it will be uh, stationary, stable. The moment uh, the gravity force or we let us say this normal reaction becomes vertical, the moment this normal reaction will become vertical, then the two forces will have the same line of action that will be just balanced condition and if we tilt it little bit more then normal reaction will be uh, in this direction and mg will be basically mg will provide the torque towards uh, this way which is clockwise sense and it will be rolling down. Here what I have said I, I have considered the component of gravity and let us say this is n1 and this is n2 when it is uh, starts rolling or the limiting condition n2 will be 0 and we will say this component of uh, gravity should have uh, more torque as compared to this when, when it is measured about point A. And in limiting, limiting condition the two must be balancing that means the two torques must be balancing. So N2 is 0 as well as the torque of mg sin theta is equal to torque of mg cos theta. To calculate these torque values clearly this picture has been drawn. This is the center, this is a point A and we need to draw the perpendicular on this mg cos theta. Since this distance is twice r then you will find this perpendicular will fall symmetrically so you will find r is going to be this much. And let us say uh, this perpendicular distance that means perpendicular distance on mg sin theta is r dash. And let us say this angle is alpha. So this if this angle is alpha then you will find alternatively this angle is going to be uh, alpha. And this distance HC distance will always be AC distance will always be equal to radius. So mg cos theta will be multiplied by r and mg sin theta will be multiplied by r dash. So these two torques must balance each other at just limiting condition. Now from here we can find this tan theta is going to be r divided by r dash. Now look at this figure geometrically. In this figure if you consider this triangle. In this triangle sin alpha is going to be small r by capital R. If we consider this right angle triangle then cos alpha can be written as r dash divided by r. Now if we divide these two equations then you will find sin alpha upon cos alpha will become tan alpha and on the right hand side we will get r upon r dash. Now this r dash can be calculated. Um, or, or in fact uh, uh, we can use this triangle the first triangle of which quantities are known to us and try to write the tan alpha out of it. So tan alpha is going to be uh, this perpendicular which is r divided by base this number. This number is going to be r square minus r square using Pythagoras. So tan alpha can be written as small r divided by square root of r square minus small r square. Got it? Now this tan alpha 
has is r by r dash and tan theta is also r by r dash basically these two will say this alpha angle is nothing but theta angle which could have been calculated by geometry itself or using the point that normal reaction and mg should be in the same line of action now using this we can claim this tan theta is coming as small r divided by under root r square minus r square and then if we write sin theta out of this, so sin theta will be perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is going to be square of this, square of this, and adding together taking square root. So that will become smaller. That will become capital R. So sin theta is smaller by capital R. And uh, there are four options. So you can check option A matches perfectly. Hence, A becomes the correct response. Okay. Thank you.